I think Kim Kardashian used him. And the fact that they're making that man pay $200,000 a month in child support, absolutely uh, ridiculous. So there are some issues concerning Kanye West which have always needed clear enlightenment. Someone is coming out right now and commenting about his divorce settlement with ex-wife Kim Kardashian not leaving out the insane child support which has been causing a lot of concerns. If you ask me, I will tell you I was waiting for one person to come out and comment about this. And finally, we are saying that someone is coming out and siding with Kanye commenting about everything the Kardashian family passed him through and obviously the insane child support i'm going to be giving all the details but let me first appreciate everyone that has been keeping up and following us on our channel you have been showing us a lot of love if you look at our videos we are performing greatly and it's because of you we really appreciate you guys and please don't stop the love so absolutely i think kim kardashian used him Kanye West and Kim Kardashian recently finalized their divorce after Kim coming out in 2021 and asking to end their marriage. We all wanted it to get done for Kanye to move on with his life. But Kim Kardashian asked for $200,000 as child support, which was so unfair relating to Kanye's financial situation. I came out and commented about this endlessly. Right about now, we can see that Dr. Umal Johnson, an activist, psychologist and speaker known for always coming out and viewing out his opinions has come out and commented about all this and the fact that they're making that man pay two hundred thousand dollars a month in child support absolutely uh, ridiculous according to him he says that if kanye married a black woman who can fully understand him things would be very very different he needed a strong person with clear intentions someone strong will to understand him as a person you think Kanye West, if he had a black woman, things would be different? Oh, absolutely. I think Kim Kardashian used him well said i think this is very very important and we are not even talking about race right here but again you can see kanye's personality guys kanye is a kind of a person who needs a strong queen someone who is going to support him someone who is going to come out and say that you know what we have to be doing this and doing this and according to dr uma he is like you know what kanye needed a black woman who can reflect on everything that has been happening who was going to this who was going to stand by him all through everything but if we look at kim kardashian oh my god she has always been influenced by her family it's always chris jenner deciding on everything even way back when these two were still married i will tell you that was the same case because kanye recently when he was describing to her to us you know the kind of woman he needs right now in order to get married he was like you know what i need someone who can decide in a marriage on their will i don't need someone who is going to always be influenced influenced on what to do basically so that exactly means that during the time when these guys were married it was a different case well we can say that dr johnson is coming out and of course identifying this and he's like you know what kanye just needs a strong black woman dr uma also says that the fact that they are making yeah pay two hundred thousand dollars as child support every month yet him and kim are all billionaires is just ridiculous it clearly shows that this family just came to steal everything from kanye their concern was all about wealth and that is what they used to care about and the fact that they're making that man pay two hundred thousand dollars a month in child support when both he and the wife are billionaires are absolutely uh, ridiculous this is very very important like i started we wanted someone to come out and reflect on this according to him this was not called for okay kim kardashian you're a billionaire we are talking about she has a lot of money why are you coming out and asking your baby daddy two hundred thousand dollars for child support that is very very insane and if you look at kanye's status right now okay we expected that woman to sit down as a grown-up person and of course sympathize with the guy she would have come out with something fair which kanye could offer but again she exactly knew that you know what even if i come up with a certain amount of money obviously he is not going to refuse because he can't bear not seeing his children well dr uma is coming out to reflect about this and he's like they just want to steal everything from kanye they want to they want him to offer much even though he is going through some financial struggles 
he also continued and said that everything just points to one thing they want to break kanye they want to end his career they want to be more powerful than him they can't sit they can't settle seeing kanye being more powerful than them they fear him exposing them all he has what it takes to do so i think they want to break him I think they want to break him. So basically, this is also very, very important. He is also coming out to comment about this. And he's like, you know what? They can't bear Kanye and his Yeezy empire being on top. That is why you never know. Maybe they have also been contributing to everything that has been happening to Kanye. The Kardashian family is capable of that. We have been seeing a lot of people whom they have been using. Look at Ray J and all the men they have been associating with. So probably this is also very, very very important imagine kanye being very very powerful he will always come out and expose this family we have been seeing him doing so and obviously maybe they sat down and they were like you know what we have to bring him down in order not to come out and expose us dr johnson has also emphasized that maybe at times he might not agree with how kanye communicates but he appreciates him and how he articulates his thoughts I appreciate the fact that he was the first black man since Michael Jackson to speak truth to power. People are out there with lots of concerns but can't come out to speak. They fear being criticized. He has also added that Kanye has managed to identify certain communities of Europeans who have exploited gangster rap black entertainers and other people. Nobody has ever called them out. It's only Kanye doing so to specifically identify certain communities of Europeans who have exploited gangster rap, black entertainers, and other people. This is also very, very important because it takes a lot for someone like Kanye to always be coming out and expressing his feelings, expressing his opinions on different social media plat platforms because I will tell you there are a lot of celebrities out there who know and of course they know that you know what everything happening it's not right maybe i'm supposed to come out and talk about this i have a lot of influence but they decide to keep quiet and of course just move on with life so someone being bold and coming out to bear everything that is being directed to him just for truth i think he deserves some credit and this is what we have been talking about all along i think the only mistake kanye did is a associating with the wrong people if you look at his marriage with kim kardashian he went in all pure with love but do you even think she was also with the same intentions secondly he is someone who can't be limited to speak out look at the ongoing situation he has been criticized lost most of his things but he ain't backing up some people just misinterpret him and hence the backlash he is receiving the kardashian family is among the people that want him down they can't come out and show it in the public but we even don't know what really happens behind closed doors kim kardashian always associating with companies Kanye doesn't work with is a clear example of their intentions so what do you even think of Dr. Omar coming out and siding with Kanye and of course reflecting on his divorce settlement with Kim Kardashian don't forget to view out your comments and subscribe guys if you haven't